everyone it's Danny. welcome back to my channel today i have a haul to share with you this is my most recent scrapbook.com order my hauls usually take forever because i talk way too much so i'm going to try to speed through this so i don't have to edit it too much this has come just in time because i actually just used the very last of my pebbles hey hello collection last night i'm not kidding you and this landed on my door this morning <laughs> so uh, that's perfect timing. I love Pebble stuff at the moment. I'm really enjoying their collections. I'm using them really easily. I'm finding them really easy to use. I've used up that whole collection that I just bought from um, Pebbles earlier this year and I never use a collection that quickly. So I'm really, really pleased with their stuff. This looks beautiful too. Really excited. Um, also got this one. Yeah, I have a bunch of stuff. All right, let's move this over. So I got some ATG tape because I always get this when I order. Um, I usually get two rolls and that usually lasts me between orders. So by the time I make my next scrapbook.com order, I'm ready to order some new tape. So I just get the, um, the double sided. I don't get the uh, more expensive version. I just get this is the slightly cheaper version, double rolls. I also grabbed these We Are Memory Keepers detail scissors. Um, I do have the Curzcraft ones, but the tip is kind of rounded. So I was kind of hoping for um, something a bit sharper. I don't know how good these are, but they were on special and they were pretty cheap. If these aren't what I'm looking for, I will spring for the Tim Holtz ones, but they were quite expensive compared to these. So I'm just going to try these out. You can never have too many scissors in my opinion. I also got two sets of Novo Drops. I got uh, two different versions of white because I don't have, oh, I'd have these. Um, it's the ivory seashell, but it's it's not really white, it's got a slight grey tone to it. It's pearly, uh, which I don't think helps the white come through. So I did just get the gloss uh, Simply White crystal drops. Now, I don't know whether these are translucent or whether they're opaque. So I got those and I also got the chalk ones. Um, the vintage drops, is it? So this is the, um, the matte ones. So let's see, chalk white, chalk stick. So those two, these are a bit more expensive. I'm not sure why. Let's try black to really like, really <laughs> test it out. So this is the Simply White Gloss Drops. Oh, perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. Very exciting. Okay, and these are the uh, Vintage Drops. So the matte ones oh, come out a bit more quickly than I was expecting. And they look exactly the same. <laughs> Nice and opaque, very white. Came out really nicely, nice round shapes. Oh, that vintage one flattens out really nicely when you flick it. So yeah, I really like those. So now we have all the pebbles, bits and pieces. I pretty much got everything. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I got nearly everything. I didn't get the puffy hearts and they're uh, one of the, the the label ephemera, but I did get two packs of ephemera and I got puffies and both the alphas. Uh, both the alphas? I thought I did get both the alphas, but maybe I didn't. Okay, maybe I didn't get the other set of thickers. That's okay. I actually bought three sets from Spotlight yesterday. I might actually chuck my uh, Spotlight haul in at the end of this because, um, yeah, I bought stuff. So <laughs> um, I'll tack that on at the end if you don't want to watch that. You can just watch through this bit. I did restrict myself to 10 papers again this time. Um, that's my kind of rule to uh, keep everything <laughs> at a reasonable level. But I did get the paper pad this time, which I didn't last time. So I think I can definitely get way more layouts done out of this collection because I have the paper pad. I really missed this last time. Um, it was actually sold out. Otherwise I would have got it when I ordered Hey Hello, but it was sold out. This time it wasn't, thank God. So I have it. Um, so I might just actually quickly flip through the paper pad. I also didn't get the little teeny tiny paper clips, which I'm kind of kicking myself about. Um, they're really sweet, but yeah, I don't use paper clips all that much. So I was trying to behave. Okay, so this is a six by eight size, and I think, is it doubles? Yeah, so it's 18 designs and 36 papers, so there's two of everything. So you have a spot on an off-white, uh, slightly darker off-white with some black butterflies, gold foiled floral, look at that foiling, that's the best thing about these paper pads, um, a lot of it comes foiled. Super pretty floral, I'll be fussy cutting one of these for sure. Black and white buffalo plaid, another pretty floral. Maybe too busy to fussy cut, but maybe not. <laughs> page of tags, they're really sweet. I love when they add the tag page in the 6x8 because um, they're so much smaller that they're easier to get a few on a layout. Um, I really love layering tags. 
a green buffalo plaid, um, the white with the little wood grain houses on it, another uh, tartan pattern, beautiful, a nice forest green tone on tone, another floral with the blue, and I'm not such a fan of this one, but I still like it, another white and gold foiled page, this time the little houses. I can also see myself fussy cutting these, even though they're tiny, they're really sweet. Um, a nice red and light pink polka dot. I really like this red tone. I actually really like the color red they've used in this collection. I can be really fussy about my reds. <laughs> I really do like red. It just has to be the right red. So another little floral with that pretty red again. Another really pretty floral. Lovely to fussy cut. Uh, a lovely text paper. And those odd words are foiled. Can you see that? I hope you can because that's um, I love that detail. A cut apart, so these are going to be um, the smaller version of the 3x4 cards. I love those colours, they're so pretty. And then we just have repeats, so love the paper pad. Alright, let's have a look. We've got thickers on the top here, so I've got the phrase thickers, not the alphas. Um, again, just trying to, I think I was trying to keep it under a certain amount, so I did have them in my car, but I took them out. So these are gold foiled, they are puffy. Um, just, I love me a good puffy, and I love gold foil. <laughs> Gold's definitely my favorite metallic at the moment. So um, there's lots of like heart and home and staying cozy. And this would be really good for, I don't want to say the C word, but for a COVID album, because <laughs> um, there's lots of houses and it's got that kind of, it's almost got an autumn vibe, but the colors aren't strictly autumnal. You could definitely use this for spring. There's lots of florals. I feel like it's really versatile. So anyway, back onto the <laughs> alphas. So we've got some nice big titles here and then we've got lots of smaller ones, some script, some in a typeface font and some just in a bold uppercase. I really love that. I love that you can mix and match them, but they all tie in together. And this is the other side. So there are a lot of titles in here. Some of these thicker packs I find if they're too large, you just only get a few each side, but this has heaps in there. Okay, I also got the puffy leaves. They did have puffy hearts as well. I, oh, I should have got them. I'm kind of kicking myself I didn't, but like how many gold puffies do I really need realistically? So they're really sweet. I love that some are solid and some are this really skinny outlined. Oh, I love that. Okay, next are the cardstock stickers. So it's a uh, six by 12 double-sided, so a 12 by 12 sheet. Just going to pop these out of the packet so we can have a look, proper look. There we go. So, oh, so many beautiful things. I love this wood grain, lots of gold foiling. We've got these sweet little animals in here again. Um, not so many of them this time, which is nice. That will make it a little bit easier to use. I love these little accents that are home related. There's lots of little houses, this little Oh, that's so sweet fresh from the oven little bread rolls little bird houses and the keys and little acorns are really sweet i love this girl on the bike and the little moped super sweet lots of florals lots of these little tiny stickers that i really appreciate um, and one of the reasons that i love the pebbles collections is that there's so many of these sweet little things that you can just tuck in um, and all those bring in all those little hidden details really really sweet then we have ephemera i got the floral and i got the icon they had three packs in this collection which is kind of a lot i feel like but i love their um the way they organize their ephemera so they have lots of icons and they have lots of smaller pieces as well like you have this tiny little bird and little kittens and then you have bigger pieces and then same with the florals, you have these little ones at the top, some more medium sized ones, and then some larger ones. So I'm not going to pop these out of the packet just because um, it will take far too long to go through everything. But I will just give you a quick close up of all the bits and pieces in there. So all these top ones are foiled. So lots of butterflies and a bike and those acorns and houses again. And a lot of these uh, icons are similar to these stickers. So you have florals and oh trees, all these tree die cuts. All the, those little houses, little bees are super sweet. I'm very excited about those. And those little animals again, the cats and the dogs and the little squirrels, super sweet. And then same with the florals. So you get a nice mix of those colors, some of the lighter pinks and blues, and then some of these sort of deeper, richer blues and reds, lots of foliage, which I really like. Okay, next we have the stickers, which I didn't really get a proper look at because the um, they only had a photo of the front page. So I just took a gamble and assumed I would like them because I loved the last set. So let's see. I'm going to take them out of the packet just because I, I take them out of the packet to use them anyway. So. Okay, so the first page we have some title pieces, which is really nice. Some little labels, a frame <laughs> and another little house and some floral clusters. Lovely. 
this is probably my favorite page um all these little florals and these tiny leaves they seem really tiny and finicky but they're so nice just to tuck in amongst your clusters and add little tiny details i just love them lots of gold foiling there as well this one's interesting it's um like a dates days of the week and your months um, i wonder whether this is intended for planners you also have like a monthly calendar here these gold scallops are sweet and all these little house stickers are really lovely as well another house another frame don't like that frame i'm not a fan of leopard print but um i'm sure i can use it for something some more floral clusters and some more phrases just the right size perfect this page is really cool too. I love tiny words and they've added a bunch of labels that are just the right size to overlay these. So yeah, I'm going to use so many of these. I love these. Golf world on those as well. And then some more um, frames and houses and phrases. So um, definitely, uh, I think this would be really good for a card maker as well, but I love using um, words and phrases and bits and pieces like that on my layout. So I'm going to get a lot of use out of that. Also just want to point out how nice the packaging is. How sweet is that? I'm definitely cutting that off and using that. All right, let's get into the papers really quickly. Okay, so like I said, I did just get 10 of these papers. We have Wildflower Way. So it's a very small uh, foliage print on the one side. And most of these I got for uh, background pattern papers. So um, I'm usually going to use it for the B side just because I have the paper pad already for busier patterns um, for matting photos and backing cut files and things like that so I love a pattern paper background so that's why I got this one uh, the next paper is wooded way so it's all those trees you could definitely fussy cut this out don't see myself doing that I <laughs> bought it for the b-side so it's the same as this one but it's that really pretty kind of golden mustard oh and I just want to point out that um, one of the things I love about the pebbles collections is their full-length branding strips so um, I especially love this little house branding strip and I've actually got I've got a couple of layouts done with my previous collection just using the branding strips because they're full length and they're super sweet. So there's that one. This is 7th Ave. Such a cute little street scene. Really sweet too. A fussy cut if you were so inclined. There's some very tiny details on there. Be a really cool background for like using a large cut file. Not sure if I'm going to use this side yet. I do really like this side. It's that again that really nice forest green. Beautiful branding strip. I love these trees. It makes me feel like Christmas actually, <laughs> little pine trees. This one's super sweet. I should have gotten two of these. Um, kind of sad I didn't. I really love the acorn side and there actually isn't one of these in the paper pad. So even though I had bought it for the B side, I might end up using the A side. It's really, really sweet. Begging to be fussy cut. The other side is this blue plaid and then you have a floral branding strip at the top. Now, this one I'm undecided whether I will use the A side or the B side. Really love these cut aparts. Um, love these colors. I love this wood grain in particular. Love that side. And then the other side is that text paper. Really good background, especially if you gessoed um, or use some white paint to kind of block out the center and build a cluster there. This one is Lavender Lane. What a beautiful floral. How sweet is that? I love the pink and this mint and soft blue. Really, really pretty. It's dying to be fussy cut. And then the B side is the, it's kind of like a is it hexagons? Yeah, like a hexagon pattern. I actually bought this for this side, intending to use it as a background, but looking at it now, it's hurting my eyes. Optical illusion, so I will probably just end up using the other side and fussy cutting those florals. Love this branding strip though. Okay, oh gosh, I can't even look at that. Right, this next one I bought two sheets of because I like both sides and I want to use both sides. So this side is lots of cut aparts, lots of two by twos. I really love using these as a base for a grid layout. So I already have that in mind. And then we have these lovely banners with, um, I think they're meant for cards really. They've got happy birthday thanks and things like that. But I tend to um, cut these a bit shorter and use them just as little labels on the right layout, especially like this with love and hello friend and thinking of you. You can use those on layouts. They're definitely not specific for uh, cards. And then the B side is a lovely background paper. It's a very, very subtle, um, almost like a wallpaper print. It's got a little like a fleur de -lis pattern and a uh, diagonal crosshatch. Kind of see it there. It's very subtle. It's a really pretty sort of soft blush beige. Not quite pink, not quite cream. And then the white pattern, really subtle, really pretty. Then this one is called Daffodil Drive. I love how they named them all after streets <laughs> considering it is called um the avenue oh this one's called Sef second ave by the way if i didn't mention that so this is daffodil drive it's a uh, floral on a black 
background. Um, very impactful, very busy to look at. I certainly got it for the B side, so I just, I, I mean, the A sides are really nice. I just, I love having a pattern paper background. But that's a bit too full on. This is lovely. So it is a almost corally pink gingham. Really pretty. I love this daisy praying strips. So sweet. Very excited for that one. And the last one is Peony Place. So again, those lovely big florals on that really pretty forest green background. Love that one. Certainly fussy cuttable. And then another forest green background. So I've heard a couple of people say they don't like this green. I really do. It's really nice and earthy and homey and yeah, I just really like it. So um, that's another one of these spot spot backgrounds so that's three of them um, I just really like them I think they're really easy to use nice way to use pattern paper in the background without it being too full on so those are my 10 12 by 12 papers from that collection and that is everything I have from the Avenue next I have the simple stories cozy days um, collection kit so the collector's essential kit I really love these a really good price so right around $20 I got mine a bit cheaper because it was on special um, and you get papers you get cardstock stickers you get washi tape you get die cuts you get chipboard stickers uh, I just think it's a really good deal I'm pretty upset because I didn't realize that this came like in separates as well I thought it was just the collection kit but they did also release a 6x8 paper pad there's like separate ephemera there's a whole bunch of separate stuff that um, I actually saw Virginia Walker haul but I didn't realize that was a thing so I didn't even look for it um, if I had I would have at least gotten the paper pad um, we don't have much of an autumn here uh, where I live I live in the subtropics it's very hot so I don't know how much yeah I, I tend to use autumn stuff even when the photos aren't autumn looking just because I, I love the feel and the yeah it's my favorite season really lovely so I love the colors I'm gonna stop talking about it and I'm just gonna show you what I have so these are the papers there are 12 sheets um, they're all different you don't get double ups in the collectors kits so you do kind of have to choose which side you like the best so this is uh, warm hearts a lovely big floral and the other side is a really nice plaid. Oh, don't ask me which one I like better. I couldn't tell you. This is Comfy Cozy, all these sweet little animals. And let's see, we've got lots of, oh, I love these little flowers and these little hedgehogs. I love hedgehogs, squirrels, little, um, what are these called? Raccoons? Raccoons, right? We don't have them here. I always forget what they're called. And then the other side is a lovely background paper. It's kind of like a, it's almost like a raindrop and that really pretty kind of, hmm mulberry maroon brown kind of color it's, it's very autumnal really hard to describe um the dots are in a really pretty soft blush pink love oh, i love this mustard this golden must color it has my heart at the moment um so this is called hello autumn and lots of daisies very busy very pretty and that's a reverse i, I almost feel like i could combine these two collections honestly they complement each other really nicely you can really tell i'm in an autumnal mood at the moment even that spring here but Halloween is coming, so that's a really nice background as well. Once again, talking way too much. So we have Chilly Days. It is a really pretty navy. Lots of teeny tiny florals and foliage. Really full on. And the other side is a lovely burnt orange with some tiny daisies all over it. I'd probably prefer this side. Oh, look at this one. Oh, sweaters and boots, it's called. Um, oh, just so many cute little icons. Oh, I just love that. I'm, you know, I'm almost tempted just to frame that. <laughs> I don't want to use it. Um, you could definitely fuzzy cut this out. It would probably take a few long sessions in front of the TV, but um, definitely be worth it if you want some extra ephemera. And the reverse side is a um, blue spot. So that's a nice background paper. Um, I couldn't choose this over that though. I really love that side. Next page is a really pretty soft, uh, almost taupey gray with a script in an off-white, um, just lots of like pumpkin spice, autumn, give thanks, blessings, thankful, sweaters, cozy, traditions, lots of lovely phrases. And this one's called Harvest Wishes, if I didn't mention that. And the reverse is a cream with lots of really pretty autumn foliage all over it. I love those colors. That's really lovely too. This one is Happy Foliday. Foliday. <laughs> I've got the wrong accent to say that. <laughs> Happy Foliday. <laughs> um, a pretty floral, I really like that. Um, but I do, I love this side. Oh, if I could have 10 of these, I love this paper. I love that color. I love the gingham print. It's really, really sweet. This one's called uh, Tags. Very imaginative name. Lots of tags. What can I say? Pretty colors. I love the icons. Other side. Oh, how nice is that? 
Oh, I really like that. Oh, that's so nice. Usually you have to choose between a background paper B side and your tag side, but that has the reverse of tags with lines and a grid print on them. So you can um, have hidden journaling and tuck them in. Oh, I really like that idea. Oh, this would be really nice to make a mini album actually with interactive tags. Um, I'm really pleased with that. This one is called a two by two elements. <laughs> Again, <laughs> very imaginative name. Um, I love these sheets. Like I said, I really love using um, these to build grid layouts out of. These are really sweet. I love these little animals and the oh, envelopes, the pumpkins, cider, boots. How sweet are these boots? The jam, the pie, little candle. Really sweet. I love the mix of colors and yeah, it's just, it's a, a layout made for you already. So if you cut these up, distress the edges, sew on a couple of them, layer a couple of them, build a um, five by five grid, there's your layout done. That's the reverse side, a nice floral if you're not into two by two cut aparts. I'm definitely going to use the other side though. All right, this is the three by four elements. Again, just three by four cards, some really pretty icons. I like these <laughs> little faux washi tape. Really sweet, love these boots, love the animals. The reverse side is a really sweet uh, pink with acorns. Um, that'd make a nice background paper if you like a busy background, which I certainly do every now and then. Here's your four by fours. Um, again, just similar kind of thing, just larger format. I really love these little pies and <laughs> the socks, <laughs> so cute. These would make some nice title cards in pocket pages, really lovely. And the other side is lots of pies. So um, if you want to fussy cut, actually, I think I have seen recently, someone did a wreath of just pies. It might've been with this collection, but I thought it was so cute and clever. And I think they must've used this paper and fussy cut all those pies, really sweet. The four by six cards, again, just some nice four by sixes. Um, you've got some horizontal ones here and then some vertical ones. I like that they switch that up because not everyone uses the same orientation. I really love this card, four faves. And the other side is a really nice background paper. So as much as I love the other side, I might have to just use this side. I really like that. And then we have the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. So lots of nice icons there. I really love the mix that they throw in. They always add a couple of titles. They always have a banner. They always have these little words down the bottom, which I adore. There's one border strip, which is nice. I don't like too many of those. Some tabs, some phrase pieces, some just little animals. Love this chair. A good mix of larger pieces and lots of little tiny pieces. You have these little hearts and lots of little leaves and little flowers. Really love that. Okay, so next we have the cardstock. The only thing that annoys me about the cardstock is it's always this really off-white cream and the stickers are always white. So they don't really match that well. It, it bothers me a little bit. It doesn't matter too much on the elements because like you can see the border is very thin, which I really do like. There's not a big thick white or cream <laughs> border around the outside. So it's not that noticeable, but on pieces like the titles where there's lots of white space, it is a bit more noticeable. So it doesn't stop me from using them. It's just one little thing that does kind of bother me. Really love this though. Love this big title, another big banner. Uh, it's not exactly the same icons that are on the sticker sheet. So that's really nice. Everyone's home a lot more right now, right? So yeah, it's nice to have icons that go along with those photos we're taking at the moment. Bits and pieces. Again, I don't really want to take them out just because uh, it'll take too long to edit the video, honestly. Um, and it's probably really long already, but just again, lots of those same icons. I love this book stack. You have that banner again, some more pumpkins, pies, sweaters, you get the idea. And the washi tape. So I have a washi, a little bit squashed. Um, I don't use washi all that much, to be honest. So I'm not, not desperately unhappy about that. But let me, it's a pretty floral. I'm just gonna roll it out. Those tones, again, I'll try and use it because I have it. I'll try and make that a priority. All right. So that is everything I got from scrapbook.com. I'm just gonna pull out that spotlight stuff really quickly. Okay, so I got the Fresh Bouquet paper pad from Crate Paper, um, mainly because I, when I ordered my Magical Forest collection, I couldn't get the six by eight paper pad, it was sold out. So um, the colors in this and the, just everything, the whole feel of it is very similar in my opinion to Magical Forest. So I thought this would go in there nicely and save me cutting into my 12 by 12s. So I'm sure you've seen all this before, but I will just flick through it quickly. Um, these are all single-sided and there's no double up. So I'll stay pretty pink geometric, a white and black grid, another pink with chevrons. This one's gold foil, soft blue, 
gold foil, kind of mustard, check, a pretty kind of burnt rusty orange red, a nice dark green, a pretty soft blush pink with gold foil spots, it's kind of like a calendar page, navy with blue spots, a pink grid pattern, this is pretty, it's like a frame with gold foil, soft navy uh, floral, pink diamond pattern, another soft floral, a pretty gold foil floral there and a navy background, cute little bunnies, little bows on a pink background, is that navy or green? That's no, green with pink um, kind of sketchy spots, really pretty floral, definitely fuzzy cutting that one, pink and gold foil, uh, black and white floral, very busy. <laughs> Uh, another pretty floral, kind of like a mustardy colour. Uh, yet another floral, lots of florals. It's called Fresh Bouquet, fair enough. And then this page is blush pink and lots of gold foil. You can see myself fussy cutting that out, or maybe just using that whole page on the layout. Okay, so that's that one. Then I got some thickers because they were having um, their buy two, get the third free stickers and embellishments offer that they do every now and then and that includes stickers so um, this was two for three so I got two sets of black ones they are reindeer oh it's Christmas apparently I just thought it was a black <laughs> a black typeface um, but anyway it is glitter it's very fine so it's not too in your face um, I definitely need I needed more black stickers I don't have a lot I'm running out I'm using them <laughs> so I also got this foam set it's called journal and this is a well this isn't type this is type um, a typeface font so all lowercase lots in there not too many numbers and then I got the, the I know these are Paige Evans um, from one of the Paige Evans collections um, they're called happy life they're the little ones, the teeny ones, the white and the navy on the other side. So that's the figures. And then I got a bunch of just single um, specialty papers for my December daily. So I'll share these in my December daily kit as well when I finally get all that together. But um, I really loved craft in my last album. Um, all my favorite pages have craft on them somehow. I didn't realize I loved craft so much, but I got a couple of the Basil Basics uh, foiled craft sheets. So I got the gold foiled stars and the quatrefoil pattern as well and then I'm sure everyone and their dog has had this in their December daily at some point <laughs> but um, I haven't actually used it yet so I picked up a page of the um, acetate with white numbers so that'll be fun I think and then I just got the uh, acetate with the white spots as well and that is everything for my haul thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time bye guys The Nuvo Vintage drops, so I don't know. Is that supposed to? What's that? Oh, that's with a little tag. That's cute. Okay. Paper, figures, phrase, puppy. Um, so I got. Oh, where do I even start? I don't know. This was all the yelling! I thought I heard you stop talking for this. Yeah, because I heard you coming. They made my blah, blah, blah. This little teacup. Oh. Oh. I'm going to go to my poor camera. Oh no. I left up my new bow drop. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. The next one is Wooded Way. And it's all those. Sorry. Another thing I love is squeaky chairs. <laughs> okay. Alright, sorry. Dying to be fussy cut. Is that what that one is? Yeah, lemon line. Alright, so this is daffled up. Take Sorry. <laughs> Definitely didn't I say that already? Very imaginative. Very imaginative name. What? You keep making noise. That'll make Ooh, ooh. God.